Aries, welcome to 2018. Welcome to January. This is Gwendolyn. Welcome back to the channel. Or if it's your first time here, welcome. This is going to be a monthly telescope for Aries for January. And we open this month with a beautiful full moon that's in your fourth house of the home, Aries. So this is a full moon in Cancer, which is... The moon is the ruler of Cancer, and the fourth house is the natural house of Cancer. So there may be a real focus for you about your home, your home life, or where you're living. Um, that's really being lit up and illuminated for you. And there's a grand trine in water. Um, we've got Neptune in Pisces, which is its home placement. We also have um, Jupiter and Scorpio. Sorry, Jupiter and Mars in Scorpio. And in the old world, um, Scorpio was ruled by Mars. So that's another home placement. So I'm really getting the word home for you for January. That's going to be a real focus. Where's your home? The home is illuminated. For some of you, this may be completing something, finishing up a sale of a home or leaving a home. Just all matters that have to do with house and home, there's like a big spotlight there for you right now, Aries. And I'm kind of getting that it's not quite arrived, but you're needing to be patient for the fruits of your labor, to, for the harvest. So I'm getting that some of you, the home is illuminated, maybe you're waiting on a sale, or waiting on a new home, or waiting to move from a home. There's, there's something where patience is going to be involved, but it's worth waiting for that reward. This is the farmer card that, that yields the harvest with uh, hard work and patience. So fourth house, the home is illuminated. Then also on January 16th, we have a new moon in your 10th house. It's in Capricorn, again, the home placement of um, the 10th house. And that has to do with your career. So if some of you Arians or Aries are... I don't even know how that word works. Aries? Some of you Aries? Um, are looking to develop something new in your career to sow some new seeds. Um, maybe even begin a new chapter in your career. Go to a new level. Uh, begin something that either has to do with beginning a new career or beginning a new aspect of your career beginning something that um, enhances your career. New Moon is a great time to begin something new, to plant seeds. And in your 10th house, it has to do with reputation, status, achievement, things that, goals that you have. So the 16th for you of January is a wonderful time to do goal setting and look forward to what achievements you would like to <clears throat> accomplish over the course of the next six months. And when we get the full moon in Capricorn in six months, you may see some nice results from that, from what you plant now in the middle of January. And then at the end of the month, we have another full moon um, on January 31st, which is a blue moon. Anytime we have two full moons in one month, the second full moon is a blue moon. So that's another thing that's happening for Aries here in January. Let's take a look at what the cards have to say. You know, I'm actually getting, for some reason, Aries, I'm saying, saying shuffle one more time. There we go. Okay, the death card. Interesting. And page of cups. Something's coming to an end. The opening of January, Aries. I'm getting that something's completing. And I don't know if this is related to love or making you feeling like a child again. I'm, I'm getting that Page of Cups is here in between Death and King of Wands, which are two pretty heavy-duty characters. I don't know if you're involved with a fire sign, so that could be Aries, Leo, or Sag, but this may be someone who is guiding you to emotionally cut something off from the past. There's an old way of being or living, even feeling, um, that you may need some help letting go of, Aries, and you may get some help from another fire sign, 
Or potentially, this may be you as the fire sign, Aries, helping a water sign. So Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio to... You, I'm just seeing that you're helping them by giving them mature advice because this is the king and this is the child. So there's some way in which someone is having to let go of something from the past and it's either you or someone else. Um, and I'm seeing that someone is being the adult in this relationship and someone's being the child. You'll know which one of these you your role is serving. Wow, major beginnings and endings here, Aries. You've got death. Three major arcanas regarding this. Death, tower in reverse, and judgment. So I'm really getting that there's a second chance here, that there's a renewal. And this renewal has to do with forgiveness. There's something about tearing down the old structures, things that seemed permanent, maybe permanent ways of thinking that you've carried with you all through your life, and it's time to let those go. It's time to use forgiveness to burn away these old structures. If you look at this, there's fire here. And you know about fire. You're a fire sign. So fire has to do with energy and potency and action. And fire can be very cleansing. Fire is when, fire is what tears down the old structures that seemed permanent, that maybe no longer serve us. And through this fire, it releases all this baggage from the past. So what I'm really getting here, Aries, for you in January is a huge opportunity to knock down these old structures and let go of these themes from the past, potentially related to old family uh, matters. Real chance for renewal. Going back to childhood, you know, this, these could actually both be you, Aries, that you're now an adult and helping to foster the young childlike heart of yourself to let go of old wounds, to use forgiveness, to let the um, baggage of the past go and, and tear down these old structures that you don't want to live in this tower anymore. This is like a confined, uh, limiting place that may have been in, um, you know, just in place that you felt that you lived in containment of within those walls. And now this is busting you open to freedom, to renewal, to second chances. I'm actually getting that some of you will have second chances with a family member that you're estranged from. Or even if this person has passed away, that you finally forgive them. Letting go of the past is really huge here. And in January for you, Aries, I'm also getting you may need some time to just meditate and reflect upon things that's really going to serve you. Um, it could potentially have to do with an earth sign person. I'm actually getting, you know, in a weird way, Aries, I'm getting that these are other family members looking on either a water sign or an earth sign. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're helping to facilitate you letting go. And these could either be family members that are alive or have passed away. This is really internal work for you, Aries. There's really something to do about cutting away the old baggage of the past. And I'm even getting like cutting away old family karma. There was this sign that um, Franklin Delano Roosevelt had on his desk. I think that's who it was. It might have been Teddy Roosevelt. I'm not sure. But it said the buck stops here where you may be releasing like old karmic debts or just old baggage, old stories. That's what these um, people rising from the dead are about. It's saying that there's new life to be had by the spiritual fire that tears down old structures and brings new life. If you look at this, the contrast between these cards too, and I'm putting them in order of how you're receiving them. Look at how dark this is and full of fire and it's red. And then this tears everything down and all of a sudden there's this new light, this new birth, this new life. So really positive stuff, Aries, if you can do the work. And you may just have to get quiet and receive this. I'm almost seeing like ancestral help watching you do this. Um, there's, there's good stuff here, Aries, if you can do it. It's really healing your childlike heart. And being the mature adult that you are and 
um, addressing your heart or your childhood emotional stories for release. Let's see what else is going on. We've got a king of coins in reverse, eight of swords, knight of wands, and hierophant. Yeah, I'm getting there's there's some spiritual work to be done. Hierophant is the the spiritual teacher. And that's what all of this is about. You have Jupiter sitting in Scorpio all year. And and the eighth house is about um, dying and being reborn, which is another theme of judgment here. It's about transformation, another theme of death. So it is dying in one way and allowing new life to come. So in many ways, Aries, January and 2018 in general is going to be about getting quiet and letting things go from the past so that it heals the inner heart of your, you know, the heart of your inner child. It's you being sort of this mature person with this experience and wisdom to employ forgiveness, to let things go from the past. Because if you don't confront those things... I'm even getting this, this is a family unit here. Queen and king of coins. You know, these, these are potentially rich people or a couple. Um, they're all in reverse and all three of them are here. And, and then I'm seeing you as feeling like the powerless one. Like you may have felt powerless in your situation or in your family upbringing. But you have, and it may be shaking your confidence. You may feel wobbly about that. But you have this lesson available to you have the spiritual insight to work through it judgment is here in the upright position saying there's a second chance available if you can forgive and you're gonna have to get quiet and go within you have the ability to release yourself from whatever makes you feel powerless whatever thoughts have kept you captive and bound i'm actually seeing these two as related you know i'm thinking of like uh one of those fairy tales where the person is up in the tower like Rapunzel but you're you're cutting all of that away Aries here in January you have the opportunity to do that if you can get go within and take a pause from action this is really more about um again spiritual action you know with Hierophant here with judgment here with tower in reverse with death this is like a spiritual eighth house death and rebirth Again, this judgment is what it hinges on. So you may be redefining yourself here in January, and you may have to let go of something. Um, it's going to provide a lot of healing for you. And there's lots of other people involved here. So I'm really seeing family. Of, of, all, this, of all of these cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, half of them are court cards. So this really may have to do with family, resolving old family issues. And I'm seeing the family here again. I'm really seeing that whatever um, confining structures existed from me, for you from childhood that could confine you now as an adult, you have the power to confront that and release that. And a lot of it's going to have to do with forgiveness. And it's going to transform you. It's going to take you to the next spiritual level, Aries. So that's that's a lot of major stuff. But uh, it's really good. It's really freeing and renewing. And it's opening up new life for you, Aries. So again, eight, eighth house themes. You've got Jupiter raining down blessings on you and expanding things. It's expanding your life, Um so enjoy that, Aries. That's my reading for you for January. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up or share it with another Aries. Um, it's just sort of like something's going kaboom and, and breaking your life open so that you can go to the next level, Aries. It's, it's beautiful and it's wonderful. Um, I hope all of you have a beautiful January and a beautiful 2018. If you'd ever like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so. I'll have my email below. And as always, I just want to thank everyone so much for watching. Yours in the stars.